What's up everybody? Viper here. Today we're back in Green Hell and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make some iron tools. So we went ahead and uh, last time smelted up some iron ore and I've got 10 pieces right now and we're gonna, gonna make uh, probably an iron axe, some iron armor, maybe some iron arrows, and an iron knife. I think that's all we can make right now. But we're gonna have to make these little these little molds. And we're going to um, harvest this that gives us the molds. I believe we get three. And then we're gonna have to take our little molds and say we want an arrow. And we take our little iron ore. And then we get an arrow mold. Let's just drop this over here, arrow mold. And then... Okay, I do have some space in here. Let's make a knife. Or a stone blade. And we need to take this little stone blade, put it over there, and another one of these irons, and that'll give us a blade mold, and then if we take our mold and our little axe, this should give us an axe mold, Then we're going to take a stick. Oh, it's not this stick. It's the other stick. Let's grab a couple of sticks. Can I still rock you? And this will give us an armor mold. Alright, so we got several molds. We're going to need to light this thing up. Alright, we got both of these lit. Yeah, we're just going to take our armor mold, shove it in there, and our arrow molds. And then we just got to wait for them to get done. It's going to take a little bit of time, um, but through the power of editing, I'll bring you back when they're done. All right, and then it just kind of plops out like a turd. And that took about a quarter of the fuel when I had these fully uh, fueled up. All right, so now the molds are done. You're just going to go into uh, right-click on it, and you're going to harvest it. And then we got a metal blade. We got two little metal armor cast, but we need three of these, so we're going to need quite a bit of um, armor molds, which I ended up making a few other ones. And you also get three arrows. Alright, so we got ten, and we need a total of twelve to make a full set of armor. So I have these arrow molds, which I am, I'm going to have to harvest this thing to get the stuff back, because I need to make an armor mold. So if you accidentally make one that you don't need, then you can harvest the mold itself and get it back. Alright, first thing I'm going to make is an axe. So we're going to take a stick, a rope, and this metal axe, I think. And that'll give us a metal axe. And then we're just going to drop our stone axe somewhere over here. That way, if we've got to make more molds, we can. And the durability of this is 48, which will last quite a while, but I wish it was better. And then we might as well make a, uh, a spear, I guess.
And then should just be a rope. And that gives us a metal spear. And we have room to make some metal arrows. Do I need rope for these? What do you do? It's been a while since I've actually made those. Alright, that gives us metal arrows. Alright, we got 12 armor cast now, so it's time to make some armor. Gonna need a banana leaf. Gonna need three of these. And I believe two ropes. That gives us some metal armor. Durability 48%. Not great, but whatever, we'll take it. It's only going to get better if we keep making it, so. So we've got some metal arrows now. We've got metal... Metal axe, metal spear. We can make a metal knife just by using, uh, you know, that standard knife mold. And you can also make a metal pickaxe. But I don't really care too much about those two. The metal spear, I think, is pretty good. And the metal axe, eventually, is great. So now we can take off our crappy armor and put on our good old metal armor. And I got one more arrow mold. So this was ten pieces of metal that we smelted. Alright, I put my weapons away just so they're not hanging around on the floor. I don't even bother using the pickaxe or uh, making a knife. You get so many obsidian blades. And I'll just make a pickaxe when I'm around the uh, place to mine. I just don't see a point in making a specific pickaxe and then have to carry it around because you only got what five spots to carry stuff so I just like a nice little metal spear but these tribal spears are really great as well but I'm just gonna slowly build up my uh, the durability of them same with the metal axe for the most part I'll continue using these regular stone axes when I'm cutting stuff down might take a little bit longer but it's just less resources and these uh, these metal arrows are great. Um, I just wish there was a way you could uh, change arrows. You can carry some crappy arrows and metal arrows. But as far as I know, there's the only way to do it is... Like, I've got metal arrows now. And if I want to use these, I have to drop all my metal arrows. And then it'll switch to regular arrows. So now I can fire regular arrows until I actually run out of regular arrows. But if I drop all of my these arrows, then I'll fire my metal arrows until I run out of, you know, metal arrows and I'll switch to those. So I just wish there was a way we could switch in the game and didn't have to do this. But I think that's about it for this uh, metal making video. We went over the spear, the knife, the axe, the arrows, and our nice set of cool metal armor that we have now. So I think we're pretty much set and we can uh, just kind of head over probably next time to explore the new area. And I think we're actually going to start the story at some point. Um, the new Amazonian whatever Tears of the Amazon or something but I think that's it for today hope y'all enjoyed thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all later